were over a million mentions on social media of storming the capital. Maps were shared of the building's layout. These users were noobs. You can tell by the total points they received for their comment matches up to their profile's overall points. Now why and how the fuck did the New York Times know that these noobs were significant enough to document and screenshot their very first post? There was talk of bringing weapons and ammunition. Same with these comments. They were all new users posting for the first time, and two hours is fast to be scouring the entire internet to find this noob to be creditable. And this because the NYT reporters were the commenters as well. Gosh, a tourist visit. This is so stupid for Capitol Police to be guarding the middle. There is no entrance, no stairway, just a wall in the center of the Capitol. Now, why would they be all in the center like that? Because it looks good on camera. That's why. This was not. A lamer once said the proof is in the footage. You just gotta watch it though to know. Watch and pay attention. And the proof is in the footage. The proof is in the footage. As part of a six month investigation, the New York Times- Again good on camera. Dead center is the Washington Monument and the leaders of the Proud Boys marching away. This was all by chance and random, huh? Cameraman and director too. The proof is in the footage has collected and forensically analyzed thousands of videos, most filmed by the writers themselves. We obtained internal police radio traffic and went to court to- Again, dead cinder, storming the Capitol with a flag like a fucking Hollywood movie. Why are all those people just standing in the background? Fun fact, anyone that said they were storming the Capitol was an actor or agent. Some make calls to storm the Capitol even before Trump speaks. Ma'am, what, what happened to you? I got maced. You got maced? I made it. By, by the police. <laughs> yep, that is an onion. And what happened? You were trying to go inside yeah, the Capitol? Yeah, I, I made it like a foot inside and they pushed me out and they maced me. What's your, what's your name? Where are you from? My name is Elizabeth. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. And why did you want to go in? <laughs> we're storming the Capitol. It's a revolution. Thank you. Police are so outnumbered, they're forced to retreat again to more tightly defend access points to the capital. It's now five minutes into the siege that the Capitol Police Chief calls for backup from local law enforcement, known as the Metropolitan Police, and asks other Capitol leaders to mobilize the National Guard. You took a note! Does that not mean a damn thing to you, does it? Metro Police will arrive within 15 minutes, but for reasons we'll explain later, the National Guard won't arrive for over four hours. Back up, back up. Meanwhile, more Capitol Police come to reinforce the line. It's the first time we see officers in riot gear. But most are missing their shields because they had not prepared to unlock the storage area where that equipment is kept. Where's all the bike racks? Where's all the people? Where's all the cops? This footage was filmed on a different day. Proud boys like Billy Crestman keep rallying the mob. Who's the officer? Do you want your house back? Take it! Take it! And again, this, this was like one to three action. How many cameras do you see? Keep in mind the video itself is another camera. Minutes later, reinforcements from the Metro Police arrive. Now how the fuck was Metro PD called for backup? But they come from inside the building? 